Welcome to today's video. So today is a Coco and Reno feature. I have not featured them in quite a while and I get the monthly subscription box. So for those of you that have not heard about Coco and Reno, they are a monthly subscription kit. So you can get new dyes in your mailbox every month, you guys. And it's so reasonably priced. It's ridiculous. Um, and when you are just starting to uh, create your dye stash in your craft room, this is a really great way to build it slowly. Um, every month they have a new die set. You get it in your mailbox. They also sell these as one-time purchases. Um, so I hope that you guys check them out, see what it's all about, see if it fits in your craft room. Um, this is the birthday cutting dies. They're currently available for one-time purchase. And so I created this little memory decks using the balloons and the little uh, birthday hat and the word celebrate from the die set. So you get all of these dies. It says happy birthday. Um, you got some candles, a little kind of looks like a confetti. I'm thinking it might be like a balloon streamer. Um, and then you get these little um, kind of like bubbles that can be coming off of the flame um, or just used as confetti. You've got little presents. You've got this word that says celebrate this adorable cake. I think it's so cute. Um, a lot of the design team members already used this die set and everybody pretty much used the cake. So I was like, okay, we're gonna do something different. And so that is what we are working on today. So I created this for a reel. Um, as a design team member, I am to create two projects with each die set. So this one is my first one. And then this one, it's a, just a little birthday tag. This will be my second one. And I thought I would share with you guys my process. So I wanted to share with you this die in particular from the die set, the balloon. So it's one um, die, but if you just cut it out of your design paper or the color card stock and then cut a separate piece of paper for these the string, the balloon string, um, and then you'll have something cute like this. It's really easy to just do some minor paper piecing to just give your balloon a little extra something. So I wanted to share that with you. And then this I fussy cut off of one of the tags in the collection that I'm using. And it already has a little hat on it, but I wanted to use this little hat and just give her some dimension. So I just put a little foam square on the back of her and we'll place her on here. And it's just gonna bring this little ephemera piece some added interest and dimension. Just give it a pop of something, okay? And I used a tag die for my stash. I'm just gonna glue this on here. I always like to use this thin chipboard, you guys, with my thin die cuts. Um, I almost can't have a project where I don't use it because it just makes everything feel so good. <laughs> And it's super, super thin, so it works perfectly with these wafer thin dies. And so I'm just, I just always use it. So I just make sure, I mean, it's an added step because you can leave it like this, but I like to cover it up. So I did cut another piece. I just forgot to bring it with me over here. Um, so I'm just gonna add some pressure. We'll leave this back piece undone. Actually, I can't leave it undone because once I start to add everything, it'll be hard to add the back piece. Let me grab that really quickly. Okay, so I found the back. It's just a plate and card stock, okay? We just wanna cover up that chipboard. And we're gonna start building our little guys. So here I have this die right here. This is the double balloon. And I did some paper piecing, just like I um, mentioned to you at the top of the video. I've got some gold foil cardstock and then my printed cardstock. And then I added some little stickers from the um, paper collection that I'm using. I'm just gonna add these here. And what else I need? Foam squares. Foam squares, let me grab those. Okay, so I got my foam squares. I'm gonna add my balloons. I already know uh, pretty much how I want to place everything. So I just added some foam squares to the back of my balloon die cut. Pretty much want to place it right here just like that then I have some foam squares on my girl and we'll place her as well and it's just fun how these little dies can really just bring your project to life you know they just give it a lot of character um, I have some leaves that I want to place. Oh, I have the little cupcake. Look at the little cupcake. So I did paper piecing here as well. I used the bottom, a different color for the frosting, a different color for the candles. 
and just added a little foamy for that. I want it to be kind of in the back of everything, just like that. Then I want to add my flowers here, the larger one in the center. And I want to add my, yeah, just like that, okay. We'll put her right there. It's kind of good to just like come in with an idea of where you want everything because then it's just a matter of gluing everything together. And then I'm just folding my leaves a little so they won't be so two dimensional. We'll give them a little fold. Okay. And then I'm going to add my flower. one's going to go here or here. Actually, I have a little sentiment that I wanted to put here. Let me put this on before I commit to the placement of the last flower. Yeah, I want to put this right here. Just like that. Happy birthday, perfect. And then we'll just put this flower over here. I kind of regret sticking this leaf all the way in. Let me just take her out, see if I can, without ruining her. I may, I might be able to salvage it. Let's see, yes. Okay, let's see if we can. I'm gonna put this here. Let me glue this down again. I just tore that all off. Do you guys do that too? I hate that I'm like that. Like just glue it down and commit <laughs> just glue it down and commit okay then I'm gonna want this in there and this brought her let's see yeah okay let me turn this around add my glue There you go. Look how cute. That's perfect, right? This one came down a little too much. Let me see. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Kind of spread it out evenly. <laughs> there you go. And then. I also have these gold ones. I don't know if I wanted to add a little more sparkle and shine. I think I do. Okay, let's see. I have glue strings everywhere and it's just a really fun easy project right for a little birthday tag it's it, it's just always so amazing to me how these dies can really just bring your projects to life and make them really special you know that's so cute to me okay and I think we did everything I have let me add some little jemmies here Okay, I have these Paper Studio jemmies that I think are perfect for this collection. The colors are just good. Put one here, and a little one, a little purple one. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but I think it'll be cute. Right? Let me see. Oh my goodness, it's stuck to my cupcake and I want to put it under the cupcake. <laughs> I think it's going to have to stay there. That's fine. I'll just move this one out a little bit more. Oh my gosh, now this one wants to go in. That is too funny. Okay, I want them like that. And this leaf, for some reason, doesn't want to cooperate. 
I want it like right there. Let me add a little bit of glue. It's like has a mind of its own. <laughs> okay. There you go. This one kind of did too. Okay, and then I think I'll add some more little jemmies over here. Maybe another purple one. Just for a little sparkle, right? Isn't that so cute? All we did was add the balloons, a little hat, a little cupcake. So stinking cute, so cute. I think these are adorable. Um, and you have a great little birthday set to give to someone or to document a special uh, birthday moment. So I hope that this inspired you to get crafty today. Make sure you check out Coco and Reno. They are really just an amazing company. And the owners are just so kind and sweet. And they always have just fun craft supplies for the craft room. So craft eyes for the craft room. So yeah, I hope you check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.